Hey, what's going on, everybody? Let's take a look at Minvo. Minvo takes your videos and turns them into clips or moments. Using AI, it will go through a video that you upload or grab a YouTube link, copy paste it into Minvo, and using the AI, it will cut it up for you into shorter clips and add captions and some emojis. You've seen these videos all over the place on social media and YouTube clips. They've been pretty popular. So Minvo does this. The, the main tool out there that does this currently is Opus, and then there's also Descript, and there's a few others. Minvo is the closest tool to Opus and Descript that I've seen offering a lifetime deal. The quality is very good. That's not to say it is perfect. It has problems and some issues with the editing part, but all in all, let's see, we got the deal on AppSumo. And you'll see here the pricing starts at $59, two hours video input minutes per month. It's unlimited moments exported per month though. Originally this had limits as well, but right now they changed it. This is great. You can upload up to two hours, but once it's uploaded, for 90 days, they store that vi those videos that you've uploaded, 90 days from when you upload, and then you could just export as much as you want. Five gigabytes of space. Uh, and as it goes up, you see it goes up to five hours, 12 hours. The gigabyte space goes up to 10. As you go to license tier three, goes up to five, license tier five. And then you see the upload storage uh, goes to 180 days if you need that. But for many, tier one, tier two is fine. If you have a YouTube channel and you're doing a decent amount, you might go tier two, tier three. I'm at tier two currently. Here's the Minvo dashboard. If you want to add a video, you'll start by clicking. You click on make shorts from a video. You can upload the video file. Or what I prefer to do is import copy paste the URL from your YouTube channel or any YouTube channel, wherever you get the video from, copy paste, you put it through there, you would import, and then Minvo will give you the video and automatically with the AI cut up some clips or moments for you to choose from and edit. And as you can see here, it says I have 78 days remaining on this one, 77 days on this one. So for the next 78 days, I can just create different clips from this video. Click on the video and it will load the moments that the AI has created. See, it's taking a little while to load there, but these are some of the AI clips that it put together for us. Now, at any time, you can go through each video. You can edit them. So let's say we want to pick this one here. You can also change the aspect ratio. If you don't want portrait, you go to landscape or square, you can add background music, change caption style, the animation, but let's just leave it portrait. Uh, let's go to this one, number four, and you can go in there and edit it. Now it's buffering. On the left, you see the text that the AI has transcribed from the video. Uh, it's automatically added and highlighted. It's highlighted some words and added emojis. Let's play. Um, now on this video, it's just buffering. It's not showing the video and it's not playing the audio. This happens with Minvo. This is really the only concern I have with Minvo. Uh, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But just know that when you export, when you download, the video in the final product plays back fine. Usually it's perfect. It's just on the editing part, editing part, it's difficult to say editing, it buffers at times. So sometimes I hit refresh, reload it. See now I refresh. What, what we were doing was kind of stumbling into the, the Google News approval game. When I first, I first started, started this. They see how it highlights the text, it's very nice. Add a little emoji, you can move the captions around. It lags a little bit. Again, when I'm moving stuff around, you can change the font. You can change the animation. If you want to slide in instead of pop, it could do that. 
you can go on the left hand side you can also edit over here you can fix a typo let's add poop and it should show poop then and then let me go back here we'll play there click back over there let's try again let's play it it's stuck a little bit all right so let's see where was i with poop one see you saw poop showed up five minute uh, video was someone i couldn't understand talking, talking their, their way, way through. through it's cool it automatically knows where to add the emojis you can edit the words at any time but again some lagging issues while editing up here we can change it to landscape mode if you want to see what that looks like talking, talking their way through the google News. say i want to grab this and move it up there we can put it up there there's approval process so I kind of had to figure it out on my own, which, which I did by buying some Google News website. website. Change it to square. We can download it here and download as much as you like. So you see all that, edit there. This is your main window. This is your timeline down here. If you want to add music, you can add some music. You can move the emojis around. It's got a basic timeline video timeline like other tools you can change the emojis if you want to change from a briefcase you can choose another emoji now you also can post minvo has a kind of a social media scheduler built in i connected my youtube i haven't connected these yet but you can connect it youtube instagram tiktok linkedin facebook uh, and then you could schedule out the video short that it creates and post it so everything can be done from here you can either download or you can schedule a post. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so that's that. Let's go back over here. Let's say we wanna see the whole transcript. So we have the transcript, we have the entire video now, and you wanna manually create a new short clip. You would click on the lower left, short clip, no, new short, sorry, new short. And then we would go to the paragraph or sentence that you wanna do the clip. You could see, oh, you can't really see, but um, as I'm moving the mouse, it's lagging again. So it moves a little slow. Maybe they'll fix this. Or hopefully they will fix this. Uh, it's still a young product. So they have time. And that's the reason why we're getting a good deal on this because it has little hiccups. We'll highlight this and that would create the new short. And then you just hit create short. Now there are other tools that are similar to this that have been on the market and still are the manual editing part hasn't been as good as minvos i like it here because it's very easy besides the lagging it's easy to highlight and then to create a little clip it did that pretty quickly but really well together okay it was a little lag there of the google requirements that you know we need to rank right out of the gate what led what? to this was really, really kind of my... Uh... That was great. And then you can continue to editor. In the editor, we can edit it more. And then if you want to download, whatever you'd like. But you have this whole transcript as well. So you can copy paste if you want to put it on your website, the text, the blog article, whatever you need. So you have the moment, you have the transcript. You also have the write feature. It'll, after you upload your video to Minvo, you can have the AI in Minvo uh, help you with promoting the uh, video clip. You could just do like, write, write a Facebook post. All right, let's see what it does. And I believe this is all currently unlimited, this part of it. It's a good bang for your buck. What's thinking? The AI is thinking. Here is a Facebook post based on the content of the conversation. Exciting news. Hey, everyone. I had great pleasure chatting with the amazing Brian Wyndham recently. He's not just any SEO expert. He's one expert to seek advice from, right? So you see, it gives you a nice, nice little intro that I could just copy and paste this on Facebook and use it to go with the little video clip or with the entire video that I want to share on social media, Facebook. It's got like a three in one. You got your moments that the AI will go automatically, boom, cut it up into all these videos. Some you might love, some you might not, but you can go in and edit them at any time. You can go into the whole video 
manually go through and do little clips of what you want. That's great. And then you have the write feature. Then you also have the posting, sharing, social media schedule part. It is quality, closest thing to Opus. Uh, the AI works really great. It puts in the emojis at great spots. The text, the fonts look good. Uh, customizing it is great with the colors. The cons are the lagging in the video editor. And you kind of have to work blind at times if the server has got too much of a server load going on, or I don't know what's up, or it could be my MacBook Pro is on fire. I don't know. Minvo will lag. And you'll go in and, and let's let's try another one. Let's pick if I did 18. I don't think I did. Let's go in here and edit this. Let's see if it lags. All right. This one. I wanted to kind of go through. This one loaded fast. See? Okay. So good there. Um, let's go here, fix, let me write cat. Okay. Go back and let's see. A little, little better. better. Oh, okay. All right. So that worked. Okay. Let's move around the timeline a little bit. You can see, see the buffering. You can see a lot of that. The buffering is trying to catch up with the video. But no worries, as long as you look at the text, you run through it a few times, you hit refresh if you need to, it's kind of pain in the butt. Uh, you see now there's no audio being played on the video. This is, this is the problem in the editing section of Minvo. But when you download this file, it most likely nine times out of 10, it will play back perfectly fine. They just have to fix the lagging behind the scenes while you're working on it, where you kind of are working blind. But all in all, it is a decent platform. If everything works so great, I would tell everyone to full stack this, buy it, because then you could get rid of your Opus subscription. Opus is still the gold standard. Minvo has got the potential to catch up to it if they can fix the lagging on the editing screen. Uh, but I recommend if you need to put out some clips, you want to make some little viral clips to get out there with some captions on it. And if that's hot right now, everybody's been doing this. This tool, give it a shot. AppSumo has the $59 starting price. So you can try it and you have 90 days, not 90 days, I'm sorry. How many days? Oh, 60 day money back guarantee. So you have 60 days to try it and then you can always refund it. Hopefully within the 60 days, they can fix the lagging. If they don't, little risky, but fingers crossed that they scale and they can handle that because it, it, it will frustrate the heck out of you. If every other day you're trying to edit a clip and it's like, you can't even see what you're working on. Um, the text will usually always show up in edit mode. Um, but you saw it's kind of frustrating when you, you change a word and then all of a sudden it freezes up and it lags. So try it out. Let me know what you think. Minvo, it's good. I'm excited. Uh, a little nervous about the lagging, but we'll see. And we'll see how they respond to this. Didn't want to be too harsh on them because, again, what it does with the unlimited exports is very nice. And it's fair with the storage time, 90 days and 180 days of keeping your video up there and just spitting out content. Give it a try. Let me know. And we'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.